anybody, any professional did project around for you, and that person now comment that ovulatory cycle, that person doesn't understand what is commenting. Or somebody that project and say, I project around. Very good. That person doesn't understand what he's talking about. Project must not be too high. Progesterone must not be too low. It's a very challenging hormone that controls the remaining half of the cycle of a woman who wants to get pregnant. So let me tell you, so when you do 48 hours, you do three days later, not three days. If your progesterone is becoming low, low, professional knows what they will do for you for your womb to get pregnant. This is the problem of um, problem of PCOS. And for some of you, if you get pregnant, and at the beginning of that menstrual cycle, you show that you have PCOS. Please immediately, if you have been diagnosed in the past that you have PCOS and by fact of whether you take treatment to you don't know, take treatment to you see that in your house and I'm tired I'm not going to anywhere again and you now find out you are pregnant take yourself to professional let them run beta ICG E2 and project serum for you because if these hormones are not balanced in your body, as at the time you are pregnant, let me tell you, two weeks later, three weeks later, four weeks later, professional will now report that you have a blighted ovum, or the pregnancy grows inside you, and later it stops growing. Pregnancy stops growing, or pregnancy form. Albit was not seen. The problem do start as at the time a patient get pregnant, not when the pregnancy is advancing. So if you get pregnant, please go and meet professional. Let them run beta ACG, E2, E2, that is Easter dial, and progesterone. As at the time a woman discovers that she's pregnant, the progesterone must not, must not be more than 36 nanograms per minute. And if it's more than this, it's a sign that that person will soon miscarry. Instead of all, this is the hormones that talk about the sensitive sensitivity of the womb as at the time you get pregnant. If this result reach close to 300 and above, as at the time you are discovered that you are pregnant, behold, if you are not properly treated, that pregnancy will be miscarried because that point is that so that that womb is not ready. Or they tell you that you have a blighted ovum. The, the beta ACG that signify the pregnancy itself inside you must read nothing less than 100 as at the time you are confirmed you are pregnant and every 24 hours the result will be doubling. If the result is not doubling, that means there's a problem. So if you have already been diagnosed in the past that you have PCOS and you are pregnant, let me tell you, some of you just say, eh, eh, I, I don't believe in God. You are pregnant and you just say, eh, eh, God, don't die, don't die. You don't do and too, too. But he has assigned some people to take care of us. God will not come down from heaven. He has assigned some people to take care of us. So take yourself, go and be professional. Let them run these three tests on you so that they can tell you what to do for you to maintain your pregnancy so that you don't have miscarriage. God will help us. So if you people have some questions to ask you, so I cannot take over care. You can take it, but what is your age? You let me explain something for you. Some of you, some of the droplets, they are too low. I'm telling you, I see that over here now. I'm not, I'm not castigating any drugs or now. Somebody was asking me, can I take over here? If your age is above 35, you need more than over here. True. How much is FSH and LH are published? FSH is 5,005. 
at least 12,000 francs. That is 11,000. Sir, if my AM is 3.5, but my funny coup is not mature, when, when I do scan, that means if you're here, that means you need to do LH and FSA. Something is wrong somewhere. That's what I'm telling you. know, some of you, yeah, they will be telling you, some of you are not doing the right thing. Like I keep telling you, please, do the right thing and take it to God. God will help us. Do you run IVF in your hospital? Yes. I have a center that I partner to I run IVF. I have two years and I feel pain in my pelvic. Why you are feeling pain in your pelvic when you have when you have pain? Because you've already stimulated, you've already taken something that of you. That is why you are having pain. And that pain is ovarian cyst that is causing the pain. That's what I will tell you. Please, I do see my period every month. But the data are different. You have a mona, that means you have a regular menstrual cycle. Go and do a mona test. Let us see the results. The doctor told me to be taking primolutin and contraceptives. So me, you know that when you are taking those two, you won't get pregnant. You won't get pregnant. Can someone still consume naturally after it? I'll tell you 100%. If your image is very good, your fallopian tube is open, and every other thing is okay with your husband. You can get pregnant even after a failed IVF cycle. What you need to do is uh, go for the re-evaluation. Re because some of you, that you push yourself to IVF, what you needed is not IVF. What you needed is fertility diagnosis and evaluation for you to know what is your problem. But some of you believe that IVF is the final solution. Now, you go and do it now, it face, it clear for your face. What you need, is, I've seen many people that they have failed IVF cycle and they still get pregnant naturally because what they supposed to do before, they don't do. You know, some of you, I think what, what, what is disturbing some of you is you want to have twins too. And I told you, you go and do IVF, not twins. These are what we call two babies at the same time. So, I fall in category three. Is there any hope for me? I'm 28. Purple two. You need, you can see their pregnant now. Where I mean professional. Betty Amon. They did drain me after my egg retriever and gave me an, an, an antibiotics. But I'm having perfect pain. Uh-uh. You should know that the pain is coming from the, the, the stimulation they give you to recruit your egg. That is where the, the pain is coming from. Sir, squatting few days before period, is it a good sign or not? It's not a good sign. It's a sign that the moon is not balanced. What is the normal range of FSH and LH? The good result of FSH and LH is from 4 to 10. That is perfect result. 4 to 10. But a normal result for any woman of childbearing age, it's between 4 and 20. But for somebody to know that you are very fertile, your LH and FSH must fall between 4 and 10. And even if you have 11 or 12, it's still manageable. But if you are between 4 and 10, these two months, and the result is very close, then that means your fertility is at peak. My name is Ujwabi Kende Samu. I'm the fertility scientist at having fertility and andrology. Till I come your name next time, God is good.